Okay, here we go. So, so ask me to buy the car. So, man, I really appreciate it. I like the car, but I need to think about it. I want to hit him with, I need to think about it on the inside. Is that cool? Now, you've been doing this for two weeks, okay? You've been doing this for how long? Two and a half years. Two and a half years? 30 years. Okay, 30 years. Seven. Seven years? Okay, we're gonna have some fun. Is that cool? Okay, now, number one, come here, come here. Okay, you've been doing this for two weeks. Have you went outside and talked to somebody yet? Yes, sir, absolutely. Yes, sir, absolutely. Okay, do you know what a trial close is? Absolutely. Okay, cool, you ready? Absolutely. We, now listen, I just, they're, they're your customers, okay? So I want you to talk to them, but I'm gonna hit you with the objection, okay? Okay, we get off the test drive, 2019 Toyota Corolla, we go on a test drive. We get off the test drive, there's the building, okay? We're outside of the car, I want you to hit me in the trial close, ask me to buy the car. All right, no problem, so sir, uh, if numbers worked out today, would this car be the one that you would be willing to drive? Man, I really appreciate it. I like the car, but I need to think about it. That's no problem. I understand it. You probably have not enough information to think about it yet. So what, what, I, like, what I would like to do is present you some numbers. Then at that point, you at least have something to go home, take it to the wife, and think about. What I want you to do real quick while we're driving back into the dealership is pull in a sold spot so that nobody else has the opportunity to show this car while I'm presenting you numbers. And if you like the numbers enough, I would love to give you an opportunity to potentially drive this. Okay, car. stop. So now listen, I'm gonna teach him a lesson. He did good, but now he's overselling. I wanna tell you what he, what he did. He said, hey, if I could get the deal right, would you be happy to take it home? I said, I need to think about it. And then he says, of course you need to think about it. He agrees with me. That's what he should have done. Hey, of course, yeah, he knows the video, but he went too long. He oversold. He said, guys, of course you need to think about it. I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. What I'd like to do is give you a quick five minute proposal of all the numbers, so at least when you go home, you truly have something to think about. Would that be fair? That sounds good. Okay, take his hand, stick it in my chest, but he didn't stick it in my chest, he continued to sell. He's been in it for two weeks, he did a good job, I can tell that you're training, good job. Okay, all right. Yeah, hey, that kid's gonna be a killer, okay? And by the way, he's all. Two weeks in, he's already doing the training. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna hit you with an objection, okay? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so he's been doing this two and a half years. This is gonna be, I go on a test drive, right? I get off the, I get, I get off the test drive. I'm in front of the building. Okay, a trial closes where he asks somebody to buy the car. He's gonna ask me to buy the car and I'm gonna hit him with an objection. You guys cool? Okay, here we go. So, so ask me to buy the car. So after driving the vehicle, works for your wants and needs. If we could get the numbers and terms agreeable, you believe we could earn your business today? Yeah, hey, I really appreciate it. Thanks for showing me the car, but I've got two other ones I wanna go look at before I make a decision. Completely understand. What type of vehicles were you looking at? Same kind of car. They're just down the road. You're the closest to me, so I came and saw you first. Perfect, so I've been in the business a little bit of time. What I've noticed when it comes to other automotive dealerships in the entire industry in and of itself, price-wise, we're top 20 Kia dealership in the country. We can pretty much do anything price-wise anybody else can do. I think you may have come in under a misconception today. You might have come in saying, I'm going to look at a few cars, I'm going to buy a few cars, potentially. What I always say, I'm not here to sell you a car. I'm here to build a relationship. I don't want to sell you just this car. I want to make sure you, your friends, your family, anyone down the road that's going to get into a vehicle has someone they know they can go to. I've been to a lot of other dealerships. The cars are the same. There's nothing special about that, and I'm sure you know that. Ultimately, what I do know is I'm not there. Right now, you're not buying a vehicle, sir. You're building a relationship that's going to last you, your friends, and family a lifetime. Let's go inside, continue to solidify this relationship, and we'll show you numbers that you wouldn't believe. Okay, now listen, here's what I want you to do. Number one, I want you to give it up for him because he's up here doing a good job. Okay, now I'm gonna ask him a question, okay? If I asked him to do it again, could you do it the exact same way you just did it? Absolutely. Same words? Yeah. Okay, I got a couple more cars I wanna go look at. Okay, sir, that's perfectly fine. I completely understand. What I've noticed being in the automotive industry and being in dealerships for a little bit of time now, is I notice that a lot of people tend to go buy a few cars and they come in under- They go tend dimension. to buy a few cars. Or they tend to buy a car. Or okay, so here's cars. what we wanna do, listen to me. Here's what I want you to do. I'm gonna take, that was way too long. Okay, that was way too long. And by the way, we know you're gonna build a relationship, but sometimes you need to tell them, like, I'm different, right? But at the end of the day, we need to overcome the objection. Would you agree? Okay, I want you to do me a favor. Everybody say future expectations. I'm gonna teach you guys a close really quick that works really well. By the way, he did what's called the push through close. Okay, you know what that means? That means I say I got more cars to go look at and he's just gonna keep talking until he pushes through and takes me inside. Right, does that make sense? Okay, but listen to me. I'm gonna tell you when I'm listening to the words, 
He's not sharp like a sniper. He's a machine gun sprayer. He's just throwing words out until something sticks and hopefully he can have enough enthusiasm to push me through and pressure to push me back inside. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys some word tracks. Remember, word tracks are dangerous. By the way, if you wanna be a good leader and you wanna teach your team, you do have to teach your, your team word tracks. You know, Brett, if I hired this, this Tommy guy right now, I wouldn't want him to learn what he just learned. And I'm not saying it badly, I would want him to learn a word track that he could say that would advance the sell forward. Notice we're outside on the lot right now. We're not inside, are we? No, we wanna go inside. When people see those double set of doors, you know what they do? They remember the last time they went in and they bought something, you know what they start doing? They start giving objections. They don't wanna go in them. Because they know what's gonna happen. We're gonna work a deal, there's a manager inside, there's a couple good managers in there, and they're ready to attack. They wanna get the keys to your trade. So what do they do? They say, ah, I appreciate it. You know, when you think about it, you gotta talk to my wife, I got a couple more cars to look at, and they wanna try to split, okay? So what I would play is I'm playing a game called Future Expectations. I'd say I totally understand. I'd say hypothetically. Brett, let's say you'd already gone and seen all the other vehicles. I don't care if there's two of them or 10 of them. Let's say you drove them all. And then let's act like mine was the last one you went and looked at, this beautiful 2019 Toyota Corolla. Brett, let me ask you a question. After seeing every single vehicle, all of them, in the end, what would be the deciding factor on which one you'd probably end up buying? Would it be the car itself, regardless of the deal? Or would it be the great deal the dealership was willing to give you? Which one? Cool, so it's not a matter of if you're gonna buy, it's when, and the win's when the deal's right, right? Cool, so if I could save you some time and money, would that offend you in any way? Would you be upset with me at all? Nope. Thank goodness. Boom, inside. You guys see? What did I do? Okay, hypothetically, let's say you already gone and seen all the other vehicles. Mine was the last one you looked at. You ever seen all the vehicles? In the end, what would be the deciding factor on which one? I'm a sniper, I'm a machine. I'm a machine. What I want you guys to understand is this. I learned when I was younger, I was a professional machine gun sprayer. I literally threw words out at people until somebody would eventually do something. But here's what I'm gonna tell you. There were a lot of things that he said that I didn't give him a hard time for because I know he's up here giving his best, but that didn't make sense that he said. There were a lot of things that were unneeded. You're not buying a car today, you're getting a relationship. I'm like, dude, I am buying a car today. Okay, like listen to me. You didn't leave your driveway, sir, not only to buy a car. I'm sure you went to buy a car, but also buy it from a reputable place that would be close to you from this day forward and take care of everything you need. Would you agree? See, now that shit's making sense to me. He needs to learn to frame, to frame his clients to think a certain way. And if you can't use your words right, you can't frame somebody to say yes. By the way, everybody understand this. Everything that I will do today to you to a sell to everybody will always be framing. Everything in sales is about framing people to, to receive what you're telling them, the way you frame them. Am I right? Okay. Hey, good job. Good job. You did a good job. I want him. Okay. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments. Tell me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. Two one zero zero two five four. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. All right, hey, I know he's a little killer. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I'm gonna go hit him. Remember, I hit him with I need to think about it on the lot. I want to hit him with I need to think about it on the inside. Is that cool? Okay. So you know when you have the numbers on a piece of paper, it says five ninety nine a month, thousand down. You know what I'm saying? It's like price is twenty nine nine, seven thousand for the trade. Does that make sense? A little piece of paper sitting here. That's me and you. He's like Andy. Great news. Da 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 da. And I say, Hey man, I appreciate it, but I need to think about it. Go. Well, I understand, Mr. Elliott. Thank you so much for allowing us to opportunity for you to think about it today. But my question to you is, sir, what made you come to do it at Hollywood? Uh, I just I saw the vehicle. I went and checked it out, and okay. I drove it. So what type of vehicle were we seeing? This X, Y, and Z car. All right. Well, normally the reason why people buy Toyota is because they're very re reliable cars. They're increased on resale values or whatnot. This is Rolex. No, no, you're good. Hey, don't ever let anybody else take up take up space in your head. Okay? You feel me? Yeah. You know what you know. I'm not asking you to make some something up. I just want to know what you know. Okay. See, here's what I want you to know. What would you say when they say that? See, this is what I want us to learn. Like, like, what would we say when, see, when you, when you tell me to think about it, I'm gonna shut his ass down right now. Like, I don't need to walk through this. I'm, I'm a sniper, I'm ready. My words count, okay? All right, so, and, and by the way, listen, this is why we train. We don't train to embarrass you. You came up here, man, you got courage. You're not a coward, you got courage, okay? So let's roll. So I just said, hey, I appreciate it. Thanks for showing me the numbers, okay? But I need to think about it, go. 
All right, great. So if you wouldn't think about anything, would it be the numbers or the vehicle? I mean, I don't know. I don't know, probably numbers. Sorry? Numbers? Yeah, so if I was able to work out a better figure would, for you, would we be able to earn your business today? Yeah, but I want to go home and think about it. So what would you think about? Would you think about the price or the car? I mean, okay, okay, listen to me. Stop. Here's what I want you to do. Number one, number one, believe in yourself. Okay? Listen, whether we're in an office working a deal or we're here on stage, does it really matter? When your back's against the wall, you'll always fall to your lowest level of skill. Okay? If you're in the military, you have to learn how to take a gun apart in the dark, blindfolded. We need to start treating our businesses and sales like this. If I hang him upside down, I waterboard his ass and I'm slapping him around, I could hit him. What's your name? Eight. What's, your, what's your last name? What's your date of birth? Seven, eight, see, see, he knows this stuff. But once I start hitting him with, I need to think about it, we ain't trained enough on this. Does that make sense? If he says I need to think about it, I'll say, hey, I totally understand. Number one, I've been doing this for a long time, okay? When someone says they need to think about it, what I've learned is either one or two things. Number one, you're no longer interested in the vehicle. <laughs> but I don't think that's it, because we wouldn't have made it this far if you didn't like the vehicle. Am I right? Aiden, so I know we found the right car. So it leads me to believe it's got to be the, the number two, which is something's concerning you, Aiden, within the numbers of the deal. What is it that's currently concerning you the most? Is it the price? Is it the payment? Or is it the trade-in? Which one? Uh, the payment. Okay, what am I going to do? Take him to a payment close. Okay, listen to me. Can anybody in here overcome? I need to think about it. Doesn't even make sense. Think about what? But I don't want to say, think about what? <laughs> Because then all I'm going to do is drive his ass down the hole. Does that make sense? What is our goal to? Bring him out of the hole. Bring him back to the deal. Everybody say, bring him back to the deal. Bring him back to the deal. Can I close him on a payment right now? Yes. I can close him on any payment that I want right now. See this pen? See this, see this whiteboard? I can close him on any payment that I want. I can money justification close him any way, shape, or form on a payment. But you know what I know? I know that I'm not to the payment point yet because I need him to go back to the deal. That's why I said, what's concerning you the most? Is it the price, the payment, or the trade-in? Which one? And I put my pen to the piece of paper, and I'm pointing at each one of them. I'm looking them in the eyes, and I'm telling them it's okay to let me know. Which one is it? That one? Okay, cool. Let me show how affordable your new vehicle is. Flip that thing over. I'm going to get next to them. I'm going to get knee to knee. I'm going to put my arm around them, and I'm going to close them. Okay? By the way, payment close is a whole different deal, but handling I need to think about it is what closers do. Okay? Because you can't close I need to think about it. Now, we can advance the sell forward like he did earlier, but now's the time to close it. I can close it by going back to the deal. Okay, you did a good job, but here's what I want you to do. Everybody understand this. If you really want to make big money, you need to know what you need to say at the time you need to say it. And by the way, you need to know five different ways to close it. You really want to be unstoppable. It's a method I call five by five. If you're in my training system, I've got five different ways to overcome every single objection you get. If you ask me to personally coach you one-on-one, -on -one, I'd sit down, I'd say, hey, what are the top five objections you get in your industry? As soon as you told me, by the way, I'd only try, I wouldn't only train you on objections, I would teach you how to speak too. But before we would do that, we'd write down the top five objections and we would come up five different ways to handle all five of those. And that right there would automatically put you way ahead of everybody else. Okay, hey, good job, good job. I want him, I want him. Hey, all right, here we go. Hey, all right, listen, hey, I'm gonna hit him with the phone objection, all right? All right, you ready? So here we go, I'm gonna hit him with the phone objection. All right, because we're on automotive, we'll move around. This is gonna be a phone objection. Now, here's the deal. I enter a credit application, okay, on a vehicle, 2018 Dodge Ram. I enter a credit application, I'm a client. And he calls me, he's like, hey Andy, great news, I got a way to go. Now, did I enter a credit application? Yeah, he's got my credit, I'm seeing if I can get approved for it. Okay, now I want you to call me, because let's say you looked at the credit, you got a way to go, I want you to call me, and I just want to hear some of that language. You ready? Ring, ring. I answer. This is Andy. Hey, Andy, how you doing? It's Roger over at BMW Tampa. How are you? Roger, what's going on, buddy? Uh, I got some great news. Is that 2018 Ram that you were looking at? Yes, sir. Well, we just had that traded in. A customer came in on a BMW, took care of that vehicle, one owner vehicle. I got a clean fax on it. We got both keys. It's an amazing vehicle. I see you had some interest. Just want to find out if uh, 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock works better for you so we can put a deal together. Roger, you're the man. I'm grateful for you. Hey, by the way, Roger, what's my payment going to be? Uh, your payment's going to vary depending on what kind of down payment, what kind of, you know, uh, how you want to set it up. Uh, I've seen payments. You can be as low as 400 a month or you could be, you know, higher depending upon what, what, what you want to put down as far as your down payment. So we can work all that out. Yeah, I'm really not wanting to put any money down. Can you give me an idea? Yeah, you know, at, at that point right there, we had a credit app? Yep. 
Yeah, I can definitely give you an idea. I can give you an idea of payment. So give me an idea of what term are you looking at? 66 months, 72, 84. I could give you a whole bunch of different options. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to ask you guys a question. Do we really want to get into this on the phone? No. Okay, but we're getting into it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I want to teach you a word track in which you'll never have to get into it. Yeah. By the way, listen to me. I'm going to explain this to you. In every industry, I'll roll with you guys today. But I want to explain to you how 100% of the time I can overcome this. And I need you to understand this. Once I start saying, depend on what kind of down payment, how long you want to finance it, all that. Right now, what I'm doing is that I'm opening the case of numbers to be worked on the phone. Does that make sense? Okay, do me a favor. Everybody say, no big deal. No big deal. When people hit you with an objection, it's no big deal. All they do is got a little bit of concern. Okay, so who needs to have certainty? You. Now's the time. Listen to me. If you don't want someone to look in the room, don't crack the door. We're cracking the door. Remember this. I tell you this, and I know he's been doing this for a long time, and I know that he leads a team, so pulling him up here and him having the, the courage to get up here, there's a lot of leaders that aren't sharp on this stuff. So I love this. I always say something. The winners in the room will always run to pressure. They'll always be the first person to run in the middle of a deal to see if they can handle it. You know why? Because they don't care. And I love that. That's, that's called courage. So Andy, it's no big deal. In fact, I got five trucks waiting for you when you come down. And my friend John runs a Ferragamo store. Right, we can help you out with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You guys ready for a word track? Yes. Okay. Everybody say, I'm so glad you asked that. When somebody says, hey, what's your best price? We're not going to go, oh, uh, well, we're going to say, so glad you asked that. You know why? It's no big deal. It's no big deal. I need you guys to understand what you're going to say before the, the time even comes to say it. And I need you to be dangerous to saying it. So when he says, hey, Andy, what's my payment going to say, be? I'm going to say, I'm so glad you asked that. Now, listen to me. I don't want you to write it down yet. This is easy. I'm so glad you asked that. Our licensed finance department, Roger, uses a very strict budgeting system that ensures that, listen, Roger, you don't ever have to worry about your payment being too high. As a matter of fact, most of our customers that had the same concern as you in the past actually left with the much lower payment than they were expecting. Getting to know you here on the phone, Roger, we're phenomenal in that area. You don't have to have any concern. What time can you make it in? Can you come in right now? What after work be best? You guys hear that? Did I show any concern? Did I make sure that I made sure that he felt certain that if he did come in, that he wouldn't have to worry about it? What did I say? I said, I'm so glad you asked that. I said, our licensed finance department uses a very strict budgeting system that ensures that you don't ever have to worry about your payment being too high. You think a car dealership can give a customer a payment higher than they can afford anyways? No, they can't. There's got to be some guidelines. So I said, I'm so glad you asked that. Our licensed finance department uses a very strict budgeting system that ensures you never have to worry about your payment being too high. As a matter of fact, and I love saying that because I'm reassuring him. As a matter of fact, most of our clients that had the same concern as you in the past, I'm third party closing him now, they actually left, those people actually left with a much lower payment than they were expecting. Getting to know you here on the phone, we're phenomenal in that area, you don't have to have anything to worry about. What time can you make it in? Right now, or would after work be best? You guys like it? But do you guys like that word track? Okay, now listen to me. How do I know that? Because I learned it. You know what I know? I'm gonna tell you a secret. 99% of people who have a sales job in this room started their job and after a year stopped learning. And this is why they never make any more money. I see them go up 20 grand, go down 20 grand. Go up 50 grand, go down 50 grand. Do you guys understand we're in sales? I mean, I mean I'm asking, do you guys really understand? Do you know that you can leverage sales by the hundreds of thousands game, by the millions game? Do you understand that? You don't understand it because if you did, you'd be the top 1% in the industry and everybody would know you. Hey guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.